Welcome to the Old Timer Centre. My name is Philip Tarrant and I'm going to be talking to you about this very late 2001 MY02 Mercedes ML55. It's done just 193,000 kilometres since it was new in 2001 and in 2001 the ML55 was actually the fastest SUV in the world and got from 0 to 100 kilometres per hour in just over 6.5 seconds. This particular car is actually one of mine. And uh, I must say I've had later MLs, I've had GLs, and I've completely lost count of how many Mercedes I've had over the years. And this has been one of the best cars I've had. Every time I drive it, it puts a smile on my face. It sounds absolutely fantastic. And I've kept it in absolutely immaculate condition. It came with a lot of great extras, like your Bose sound system, memory electric drivers and passenger seat, heated seats, navigation. Uh, this car does have Bluetooth as well, a number with a number of other extras. What I will talk about with this car is its absolute reliability. If you have a Mercedes-Benz or a European mechanic, you can certainly ask them about a car like this. Um, it doesn't have air suspension or anything like that. It's just got the 5.5 litre V8, which was also used in the E55 at the same time. In fact, from the E55 from 1998. It's a bulletproof engine, for lack of a better description. And it's got a very strong five-speed gearbox. And a lot of people would say with a car like this, they'd say, oh, but, you know, the fuel consumption is going to be very expensive and look, obviously a 5.5 litre V8 uses a bit of fuel. I, I honestly don't really notice. I just fill it up when it needs to be full. And um, gosh, how many cars? I get about around town, 350 kilometres out of a tank. I think the tank's only about 70 litres. But um, a lot of people focus on the fuel consumption when buying a car and think that that's where they're going to save money. Um, just in the back here, the, I've certainly never used the back seat. And it's in very, very good condition. Same with the roof lining. Sorry, I actually haven't, this car's not been detailed or washed or anything. I just keep all my cars in immaculate condition all the time. I just backed it in while I had a spare moment and um, thought I'd photograph it. As um, I'm just selling a, a few of my cars at the moment and this is one of them. Getting back to the fuel consumption thing, you might think, oh look, it looks like an incredible car, but I think I want to get a BMW X5 diesel or a ML diesel or something like that. Yes, the fuel consumption is very low, but the maintenance cost is very high. You've got turbos, you've got injectors, you've got glow plugs. They're a very dirty engine. They require a lot of servicing, not to mention the lack of power. But this car has been absolutely fantastic. Whether you want to use it every day, use it as a tow vehicle, if you're a collector. You know, this was, at the time, the fastest SUV on the planet. And it is a, Merce a genuine Mercedes-Benz AMG. And the good thing about them coming down to this price range is that you could buy it, you could keep it for 3, 5, 10, 15 years, whatever it is. Keep it in this condition and there's every chance to be worth good money. If you look online, there's probably only a couple available, maybe three. A lot of them have done 300,000 kilometres. I've seen one with 380,000 kilometres. They're a pre-update, they haven't been looked after, don't have a logbook, whatever. This is not one of those cars. I'm just going to open the boot. As I said, it's, it's one of my cars. I do have some things in the back, I'm sorry. I haven't detailed it, I've literally just taken some photos. I've got all my cleaning products in this bag. Uh, but it's got the rear parcel tray, spare wheel, it's got a CD stacker in the back which works. By the way, the air conditioning in this car is ice cold. It's got a tow bar, I've only used it to tow a box trailer a couple of times. Um, I put these number plates on it, 
AMG 55M. It's an AMG, it's a 55 and it's an ML. Um, but I didn't want anything, just, you know, I didn't want anything to out there. The good thing about this number plate is AMG was actually, that number plate would have been around 2001, so it could have even come with the car. It's got the twin exhaust system. It even says AMG on the exhaust tips. Um, naturally, this car's Continental tyres all around. I'm pretty fussy with my tyres. And it's got the very nice Mercedes-Benz centre caps. It's in very original condition, but it's, it really is excellent. It's a car I would love to keep, but um, unfortunately I just don't have the space with a young family. There's other things I need to be focusing on, unfortunately. The seats are in beautiful condition. The timber work is second to none. Again, if there's other ML 55s out there, um, I would suggest you go and look at them ideally before you see this one because you can see what they normally look like. Then you'll see a car like this where the timber work is absolutely beautiful. The leather. Obviously, your driver's seat usually is the worst. But um, as I've said before, I am very, very fussy with my cars. In some ways, I wish I wasn't as fussy as I am. You know, if I go to the shops, I have to park two blocks away so I don't park next to someone. It's got Xenon lights. Um, I'll open up the engine bay. Look, the engine bay probably isn't going to be absolutely a make looks. I keep my cars very good, but I don't wash my engine bay a great deal. I don't like spraying water into the engine bay on a regular basis. Um, it's just been serviced. Again, it's just been so reliable. Um, I took it to the mechanic for a service and he said, look, it just needs oil and a filter. I said, surely there must be something else. Um, I'm just, excuse me, I'll open the bonnet. Um, I said, what about gearbox mounts, engine mounts? He said, they're, they're, they're all good, you know, I mean, there's, it really doesn't require anything else. They did say that, look, Phil, there's a small weep coming from the rear main oil seal. Which doesn't really need to be done, but if you really wanted to be fussy, it's something you could do. Obviously, I said, do it. And I think it cost about $1,500. It is quite a major job to rear main oil seal. Uh, but that's been done, and this car requires absolutely nothing. As you can see, there's a bit of dust on the bonnet, on the, um, on the engine bay. You can see here, you know, usually you get little leaks and weeps through here of oil and things. Even this is in good condition. Usually they rupture and crack, and they don't hold water. It's got a very good battery. The coolant's excellent. Yeah, it's a car I'm certainly going to miss. Just drop this. But uh, I think it represents incredible value. And if you have any specific questions, obviously I'm going to be more than happy to, to help you. There's not much I couldn't talk to you about on this car um, literally everything works every window every mirror every light electric seats um, it does have two keys I've got another key at home the Bluetooth is excellent it's got an aftermarket Bluetooth where you just use this and it works very well it's even got buttons for the very back windows even though the AMG was never available in a seven seater Uh, well, thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video. Um, if I can help you in any way, don't hesitate to give me a call. And uh, look, if someone's looking for a particularly good one, I don't think this car is going to last very long. Thanks again for taking the time to watch this video, and we do look forward to hearing from you.